hey, I wasn't quite sure what to do today, so I decided to do another integral. We have, oh shoot. Okay, let's get started with this. So one thing we like to do a lot is make a u substitution for the denominator, but if we do the whole denominator, we're gonna be getting a x cubed out of that. I don't like that. So what I'm gonna do for my u substitution, I'm gonna make my u equal to x squared, just noticing that u squared will be x to the fourth, this term right here. And then we can find our du, taking the derivative, so we're gonna have derivative of this is gonna be two x, very similar to what we have in the numerator. I can kind of create a two, just multiply by two and divide by two or multiply by one half. So therefore we're multiplying by one and we're not changing the expression. Okay, so from here, I'm gonna rewrite this thing. We'll write a half in front. We'll have our du is in the numerator. Then we're gonna have one minus our u squared. And I think this is gonna be perfect for simple partial fractions. We'll use the cover up method. So let me just rewrite this. Okay, so what I've done here is I factored out my denominator, difference of two squares, so that was easy to factor. And then I set this up where we're gonna split this into two integrals, and all we need to do is find our a and b value. So in this cover-up method, we're gonna look at these terms separately. We'll look at, so we look at this first term, and then we notice if we put a plug, a minus one in there, we get a zero. We don't wanna divide by zero, but we'll just kinda of cover that up. Now if we take this minus one and plug it in over here, one minus minus one, that's gonna be a two. So we get a half. This is gonna correspond with our first term. So our a is gonna be a half. And then for this b term, we'll do the same thing, but we'll focus on this one minus u. So we can take a one, which will make that zero, cover it up, plug the one in over here. One plus one is two, one over two. This is also gonna be one half. Okay, so now that we have a half in the numerator in both these, we can take our integral. So we're gonna have, I'm just gonna take I'm gonna pull factor of one half out in front of this whole thing. So for this first integral, we're gonna have one half natural log absolute value one plus u. Then for this integral, we're gonna have one half natural log absolute value one minus u, but we're gonna have a minus that comes out because there's a minus in front of the u on this term. So we're gonna have a minus here. Then next one I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull, we're gonna factor out this other one half. Okay, so we're gonna have a one fourth in front. And then I'm gonna write this as a fraction using log properties with the minus sign. So we can write this as one plus u over one minus u. And then from here, all we need to do is back substitute. We know our u is x squared, so we can just plug that in and finish this off. So we're gonna have one fourth natural log one plus x squared over one minus x, over one minus x squared, absolute value plus c. And that's it, we're done. Not too bad. Good problem from MIT 2013. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a good day.